հիմա թուլ տվեք խոսկը տրամադրել Հայաստանում մակի մշտական համակարգող բարոն շոմբի շարպին։ Madam Chair, uh, Chair of the Standing uh, Committee, Human Rights uh, Committee in the National Assembly, um, Mr. Tatayan, uh, Human Rights Defender of Armenia, uh, Mr. Apitonian, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, um, Ambassadors, uh, Representatives of uh, Government, and uh, Civil Society Human Rights Activists, uh, it's a great honor to be here today joining in this very important discussion on the national human rights agenda in uh, this hall, the very center of, of democracy and accountability uh, of power. And I would like to again thank the uh, Madam Chair for making this possible and uh, Mr. Tatayan for the inspiration to hold this discussion in, in such a unique uh, tripartite, uh, tripartite um, partnership. We are now, of course, in 2019, but I thought I might start very briefly reflecting on last year. Uh, last year was the 70th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, a landmark beacon for dignity and equality. In the same vein, uh, five years uh, after, the European Convention on, on Human Rights also came into force, very much sharing the same values. 2018 also witnessed the 20th anniversary of the Declaration on the human rights, uh, on human rights defenders, uh, recognizing the need um, to protect those who risk their lives for uh, human rights within the context of hatred, racism, intolerance, and repression. And of course, as has been mentioned here in Armenia, something remarkable happened, a remarkable collective stand for greater rights and freedoms, for rule of law and accountability that resonated across the world with women and young people at the core. This new breath of life brought to those declarations uh, whose anniversaries we recognized. So of course such a transformation brings very high expectations and the role of the parliament in helping translate these expectations into real change and in terms of oversight on government uh, implementation of human rights uh, commitments is foundational, as is the role of the Human Rights Defenders Office. I would also like to thank uh, Ambassador Svitalski for sharing with us uh, the European Union's uh, perspectives and uh, priorities for supporting the Armenian human rights framework. Uh, the United Nations family is uh, very proud uh, to work together as an implementing and strategic partner with the European Union in terms of uh, EU budget support for the human rights agenda. And I would note that there, are, uh, great, uh, there is a great alignment between the recommendations of the Universal Periodic Review and uh, the European Union uh, budget support framework. If I may add just a, a few words about the UPR process and its importance. It is, of course, a relatively new uh, process, something quite unique in, in the international um, sphere where the human rights records of all UN member states are assessed under the auspices of the UN Human Rights Council. The UPR provides the opportunity for each state to declare the actions, to self-assess the actions it has taken uh, to advance the human rights uh, agenda, as well as to undergo a peer review by other member states on that statement. Complementing government self-reporting the United Nations team at the country level, UN treaty bodies, special procedures also weigh in. And importantly, the UPR provides civil society the opportunity to weigh in via alternative reports. This UPR cycle every four to five uh, years uh, is coming now uh, in, in the next year. So the timing of this discussion is very important with civil society alternative reports due in June and uh, the government reporting due by October for next year. And I think as has been mentioned, if we look at, uh, you know, despite the significant change in terms of political will and actions towards human rights and freedom of speech and assembly, many of the challenges in the current UPR recommendations still remain. 
challenges that we must address collectively, from anti-discrimination, gender equality, uh, access to justice, fair trials, rights of children, support of vulnerable groups. And in fact, a few particular recommendations stand out, uh, again echoing some of, of the words already shared. Adoption of a standalone stronger law on non-discrimination, in line with UPR recommendations and EU human rights uh, budget support conditions. Further measures uh, for strengthening the independence of judiciary, active justice, justice sector reforms, access to trial, uh, access to justice rather for, for all. The adoption and implementation of legislation incurring, uh, ensuring the full equal treatment for all people in Armenia, respective, irrespective of race, of religion, of sexual orientation, including people with disabilities, as per the Convention on the Rights of People with Disabilities. Practical measures to improve, uh, we, we recognize uh, the important law uh, against domestic violence, but practical measures to improve that law and to truly eliminate all forms of gender-based violence and domestic violence. Uh, as the, Madam Chair said, we need to breathe, uh, allow the law to breathe with full lungs to achieve uh, the aspirations set out. And of course, social and economic rights, as was uh, also mentioned uh, by, by the Ambassador. So I think I would just um, conclude by saying that the discussion today is also very timely as the government is undertaking uh, the ambitious development of the next generation of national human rights strategy and action planning. And a strong record of implementation of UPR recommendations and progress within the human rights sphere can only help Armenia's current bid to join the UN Human Rights Council from next year with elections coming in October, which of course we fully support in spirit, although we are not voting. I would uh, wish to just acknowledge the presence of the entire UN family here in this room as well, and we commit uh, the UN family here, the UN country team, to supporting, to working with all partners in this room, with government, with the international community, with civil society, with activists, with the Human Rights Defender Office, to help support Armenia in achieving its very high ambitions for equal human rights for all in Armenia, so that no one is left behind. Thank you very much. Shnora Kalutsun. Shnora Kalutsun, Hargarzan, Baron Shah.